Hey, it's Jim at Share the River, and here we are at the Foundry for a neat event here. We're going to have Curtis with ODNR Division of Wildlife give us the who, what, why, when, and where, and what's happening here with this steelhead restocking program. Curtis, uh, tell us and tell our viewers what it is that you're up to here today. Yeah, good morning. So it's, it's exciting to be here today. So we're doing the inaugural stocking of steelhead into the Cuyahoga. Um, steelhead trout are an exciting fishery that are throughout the Great Lakes, including Lake Erie, and we, we have stocked for 40 plus years throughout some of the other tributaries in Northeast Ohio. And the Cuyahoga River is finally cleaned up enough that um, it, water quality, habitat wise, it, it can support this recreational fishery. And um, the access is top top notch, mm -hmm. 30 plus miles of public access from here to Akron. So uh, the goal is to create an awesome recreational fishery in the future. So talk to us a little bit about the fish here. First of all, how many did uh, are you looking to stock here? Not only today, but I think there are subsequent stockings planned. That's right. So today we stocked about 10,000 fish on this one truckload. Throughout next week, there'll be five more truckloads. So we're going to stock 60,000 fish in total. Um, and that's 60,000 of the 450,000 we stock statewide each spring across now seven different rivers. Okay, so those fish get dropped into our beautiful Cuyahoga River. And then what happens? Do some of them head upriver? Some of them head to the lake? What's, what's the plan? What, what are their tendencies? Yeah, so in general, what will happen? These fish will hang out here up and down this area for a week or two. But ultimately, they're going to out-migrate into Lake Erie. Um, they actually imprint onto this water chemistry now, right away, as they're stocked. And then they'll live out in Lake Erie for two to three years as they grow and become mature. And then when they're sort of mature adults, they'll make a run back into the river following their sort of natural spawning behavioral mm -hmm. tendencies to go upstream. Mm -hmm. And habitat is good from, from here up to perhaps the, the Gorge Dam? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, right here in Cleveland is still, you know, a shipping canal and industry, mm -hmm. but the water quality in the spring, summer, or sorry, in the fall, winter, and spring is sufficient to allow these fish to pass through just fine. And then, yeah, once they hit that first riffle, seven or so miles up river here, um, the habitat's fantastic. So, riffle run, pool, lots of protected um, corridor and trees, and yeah, absolutely perfect habitat for them to spend the, the fall, winter, spring in. Now, this is the first time this restocking's been done. What what in the Cuyahoga River had to change and evolve? Because I know Cuyahoga AOC has been doing a ton of work with regards to you know watershed improvement. There's been large uh, remediation efforts here, and and one of our mindsets is always you know what's good for fish is good for the people. So what's what's changed in the Cuyahoga River that's allowed a restocking plan like this to get rolled out? Yeah, absolutely. There's been a lot of improvements. So I, I you know, I apologize if I slight anybody's uh, initiatives, but two big things come to mind. One is the focus on dam removals. So, mm -hmm. you know, through Cog Falls and Akron, there's been dam removals that have ultimately improved water quality even downstream. Here, more locally, is the Brexville Dam removal recently that has mm -hmm. improved water quality and allowed fist passage. And then coming up, the Gorge Dam removal in a couple of years in Akron will be sort of that, that final seal of uh, improved water quality. And then the other thing is improvements in stormwater management and, and runoff. So um, here's, Akron, here's looking at you, Northeast Ohio Regional there Sewer you go, District. Absolutely. So <laughs> and many other partners, yeah. And Akron Waterways Renewed. And who else are we leaving off of this list here? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, eliminating a lot of those combined sewer overflows and putting stormwater aside to be treated. Uh, that's gone a long way to improving the, the quality of the water in the river that makes it both good for animals, for fish, and also better for anglers to wade in and enjoy the fishery. Well, you got that right. And speaking, speaking, you know, we, we may not have anglers here, but in about two months' time, we'll have over a thousand paddlers out on this Cuyahoga River for our Blazing Paddles Paddle Fest. So maybe uh, maybe those paddlers will get a chance to bump elbows with uh, some of these steelhead that you just stocked They'll today. They'll pass the steelhead going out, right? <laughs> All right, Curtis, thank you very much for the update. We appreciate it. Thank you.